He's a cheeky little engine with six small wheels, a short, stumpy funnel, a short, stumpy boiler, and a short, stumpy dome. Wake up, lazy bones. Why don't you work hard like me? One day, after pulling the big express, Gordon had arrived back at the sidings very tired. He was just going to sleep when Thomas came up in his cheeky way. Gordon thought how he could get back at Thomas. One morning, Thomas wouldn't wake up. Thomas was uncoupled and he felt very silly and exhausted. Maybe I don't have to tease Gordon to feel important, Thomas thought to himself. And he puffed slowly home, puffed away. The other engines were very cross at being left behind. I'm going out again tomorrow, Edward told the other engines, but he didn't hear what they thought, for he was so tired and happy that he fell asleep at once. Next morning, Edward woke up to find nothing had changed. Edward went off to do some shunting. He liked shunting. It was fun playing with freight cars. Edward played till there were no more freight cars. Then he stopped to rest. Presently, he heard a whistle. Edward laughed and went to find some more freight cars. Then there was trouble. Gordon can't get up the hill, the porter called to Edward's driver. We've come to push. No use at all, said Gordon. You wait and see, replied Edward's driver. They brought the train back to the bottom of the hill. He forgot all about kind Edward and didn't say thank you. Edward was left out of breath and far behind, but he was happy because he had been so helpful. Pull you out, said Sir Topham Hat. Yes, said Sir Topham Hat. I will. Will you help pull this train, Henry? And find a turntable, said Sir Topham Hat. All three engines are now great friends. Henry doesn't mind the rain now. He knows that the best way to keep his paint nice is not to run into tunnels.